Okay, so welcome to Behind the Red Door, episode number four. Things totally got away from me tonight because we had a Zoom call with two of our closest, dearest, bestest friends, Art and Lori, and what turned into what was started out as a glass of wine over Zoom turned into a two and a half hour conference call, video call, and a bottle of half a wine. So I'm going to go inside and riff this one out real quick so I can get it posted, but what a hoot. Let's go. All right. All in all, it's been a good day. It's late and I'm tired, but it's been a great end to the day. So, um, all in all, good day. I got some good things done. Had a couple of difficult things to deal with and some tough conversations, but um, in the end, we got some good things done today. Uh, some things weren't easy but we're taking steps that's going to help us all to get through this thing. Um, on the bright side, which is where I want to focus tonight, uh, I took a good walk with my son and made dinner. We walked down to the store to get a couple of things we needed for dinner, and then we made dinner together while Eileen was out running some errands. So she came home to dinner and uh, taught him how to turn a leftover short rib and some sauce into a nice pasta dish uh, that looked like it was uh, not leftovers. Anyway, trying to teach him to cook a little bit and fend for himself when he goes out in the big world on his own. Um, uh, also got some good feedback on these videos from a family member who I'll be mentioning down the road, but good to have somebody else look at them and, and give me some feedback. So uh, by far the highlight of the day was the Zoom call that we ended the evening with and the reason I'm here so late and uh, riffing this out from my dining room table which is my also my work at home workstation and the editing studio for these videos. Um, we got together with some of our friends Art and Lori who are dear friends that uh, actually Art and I went to grammar school together which dates it because it's elementary school uh, or whatever it was, but also in high school. And uh, we didn't have a set of schedule agenda for the conference call, but it ended up lasting two and a half hours, a bottle of wine, actually a bottle and a half of wine, and about a million laughs. We had a blast. Uh, I highly recommend the Zoom thing to get in touch with people. And today's silver lining is just that, the, the whole Zoom call thing. Uh, we have been in contact with people that we haven't talked to in years or would not have previously thought to contact via video call. So until this whole C-19 thing, we never gave a second thought to talking to Art and Lori via video call or any friends via video call. We would see them when we were in town for Christmas or summer vacation or drop a text back and forth, but uh, rarely, if ever, anything else. So that's today's bright spot. Technology, in this case, is a wonderful thing, and it's given us a great chance to have a wonderful evening. The only thing I'm worried about is my blood alcohol level and what it's going to be tomorrow. So um, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing, and, and prior to tonight, we hadn't thought about video conferencing with people. Now we're figuring out who we can call tomorrow and starting a list of people that we can contact via Zoom. If you haven't checked out Zoom or any of the other video conferencing services, facilities, give them a shout. It was a blast. We sat on the couch, drank some wine, ate some cheese, and had a two and a half hour visit with some really good friends. So uh, check it out. Anyway, I'm signing out. Be safe, be well, wine, wash your hands. Good night, Seattle.